Hey everybody, today is the big day. I am going to walk around the perimeter of my property. My son Walker is here to accompany me and we are going to do it. I am wearing my new gator boot protector things, shin protectors, knee protectors, even though I don't think there's any chance of there being snakes um, in December. Hopefully. <laughs> Here he comes. You'll recognize this guy. Hey there. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a walk around. So, See how this property looks. Yeah, let's go. Okay. I'm going to have him lead out actually not that cold today so we're going to cut through the woods pick up the property line about I don't know 100 feet down I'm gonna make a lot of noise scare off any scary stuff so here's the rock wall it goes all the way down to the end of the, up to the road, up to the mailbox actually. If you put your hood on, then you can't get any spiders or anything down your collar. Or ticks. My gator boots things. Rock wall is over there. Okay, we're starting to go up in elevation a wee bit. This is where I first noticed the barbed wire along through here, which is down. a lot of cleaning up on this. Don't you think, Walker? Could really get a lot of this cleaned up and be really nice. Hiking. Retreats. It's just there's so much firewood here, you know? I think the dogs have heard us. Look how the rock wall tees, comes to a tee there. The rock wall is pretty falling down here. And then it splits off up here. These are actually pretty rock outcroppings. Yeah, must be someone else's. Yes. The next door neighbor. And here the rock wall is all kind of falling over. We 
would take a big effort to clean this up though. Yes, to get some goats. But I would have to put the barbed wire back up. What were you saying? You can clean this up with goats pretty easily. Just uh, without rebuilding this entire fence, you just do little sections of electric fencing. There's all sorts of companies that do landscaping with goats and it's their job to figure out how to contain them. It's not yours. So you pay them and they'll figure that out. I see. Okay. Is there enough for a few goats to eat here? Well, hey, yeah. maybe I could even lease it to a farmer that needed their now food for goats. Unless they're hiring them to clean up. They want their goats to gain weight and like probably sell them or something. So this is not going to get goats to gain. So you want to get like a landscaping company that uses goats. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. This is going uphill. Is this poison ivy? I don't think so. Growing up? Can it, cause it can grow. Oh, there's actually some green leaves up there. Now I guess it's something else. There's a lot of firewood just waiting to be harvested here. This should be my goal. One of them. They say the Irish built these rock walls. Oh, litter. You want to pick it up? I wish I had something to put it in. It's a bottle and a can. Just leave it right there, it won't go anywhere. Yeah, I can carry it if you want. Okay. I've lost sight of the house. Can you see the top? Well, I think this is the corner. Oh, this is my corner because I see an orange post. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was wondering if I had orange posts. And I do. Right on top of this rock outcropping here. Oh, there's two. There's a stake that's fallen over and a shorter one. So. There's a flag here too. Oh, where? The line heads down this way. Oh, really? Yeah, there's no, there's no rock up here. Well, I don't think it was, I don't think you're ever going to have rocks surrounding your 
rot property perfectly. No, I suppose not. We'll head to that next. Oh, I see. You're looking at the yellow orange, orange ribbon. That's kind of a point. I need to look at the plat mouth again. You see another one? The crew there has come out here and took that up. Right. But you're just going straight down, and we just came straight up. It's got to be that way. What has got to be that way? The property. Why? Because it doesn't come up at a triangle. Well, the house is like over there. It is? It's kind of an odd piece. It's just a piece of styrofoam way out here. Deer hunting season, is it? Okay. What? Okay. I said the only orange thing I saw was his shoes, but he said he just saw something over here. Nine acres is not as big as I thought it was. Because I see the other house right next to me. You see that house right there? That's the next property. I don't know where the one up there is. It seems like there ought to be. You think it just went from there straight over the, to that point over yeah, there? Yeah, no, that seems a little odd. Because that, that other flag like moved in a little. Yeah. And I bet the property, that, I mean, I'm sure the flag is kind of up there. Mm -hmm. Some kind of motor. Wow. That's the background. That's what's behind me. Was it told you that there was going to be a rock wall around the entire property? Well, the realtor's husband said he walked it and there was a rock wall all the way around it. But maybe he just meant halfway around yeah, it. Yeah, that's not. Not realistic. I mean, this is clearly where it ends. Because you've got someone else's house in it. Right. Like your land doesn't go more over there. I mean, there's a flag there. And there's a uh, post up there. So. A post where? That post that you saw up top. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's only nine acres. No, I know. It's not 20. I know. I know. It's only nine. Do you see another marker? Okay. So technically we could be on their property. What? Technically we could be on their property. I just, we run into this wall of trees here and I don't know where the property line is through these trees. It'd be nice to walk down to the end right here and see if we see a sign. I mean a marker. Yeah, let me just go through. Okay. I really don't know what happened here. It's just all this stuff was cut down and just left. And I don't know I don't know why. I don't see anything in there. 
Oh my goodness, here's one of my, probably one of my Amazon boxes. That must have blown right off my porch. So glad I came over here. You really need to walk your property and inspect it, you know? If you can. Now I see a piece of trash. Oh, how do I even get that? Any one of those poker things that roadside cleanup people use. Oh, good. You probably just split the woods up through, and it's probably just like we'll look at that. We could look at the map. It's probably just pretty much like a straight line. Yeah. All the way up to that stake. Mm-hmm. Okay, thanks so much for taking that little tour with me and Walker around the perimeter of the property. And I think a, a vigorous trail right up along the rock wall and around and back down and around would be a really nice hike, a really nice invigorating hike and maybe a meandering trail up the middle with maybe a little clearing in the middle of the forest with a little writing desk and a comfortable chair place to meditate, to write, just soak in nature. Yeah, that might be nice. And then I could get goats to clean up the undergrowth, except I've heard that I might have a lot of wildflowers in the spring. <clears throat> All this remains to be seen, but thank you so much for following my journey. Kay Cottrell, Late Bloomer, and I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.